David Gets in Trouble by David Shannon. These are some thick pages, wow. When David gets in trouble, he always says, No! It's not my fault! See? David is an angel. And he didn't use green in this drawing. And he didn't use purple in this drawing. So those crayons have been drawn in. So that we know they still exist. I didn't mean to! David, what are you doing? You're knocking the mail off the, you're knocking the whole table, the lamp, oh no! Skateboarding in the house is not allowed. It was an accident! <gasps> uh... <coughs> David breaks things all the time. Do I have to? Does this ever happen to you? You get a plate of something you don't want to eat and you have to sit there even though you don't want to eat it? He's been drinking the orange juice. Why doesn't he eat the eggs? They're the same color, aren't they? Eggs are orange. Orange juice is orange. And his skin is orange. I forgot! He's running after him with... Uh, what did David forget? David, the kids are laughing at you. What did David forget? Oh, David's got no pants on. Look out. That's not a good idea, David. You shouldn't do that. My dog ate my homework. All the other kids have their homework. Oh, but his dog did eat his homework. Look, there's the dog. There's the homework. And there's an empty desk. I couldn't help it. What's going on here? Oh, when the cameraman says smile, they all smile. Even the teacher, even though her head's cut off. Um. David, David, <gasps> you ruined the school picture? Dickens Elementary School now has the worst class picture ever because David decided to laugh at a funny joke. That boy lost a tooth. Sometimes we lose our teeth. I hope he finds it. I was hungry! Doggy, doggy yums. And David is eating the doggy yums. Are you kidding me? That's disgusting. Oh, but she likes it! Does anyone have cats? I don't have a cat, but I had a cat when I was growing up. And something I know about cats, they really don't like it when you touch their tail. See the claws? That is not a good way to pet a cat. It slipped! He's carrying too many things. White carpet and red juice. David, you are in trouble! But Dad says it! Has this ever happened to anyone? That is a bar of soap in David's mouth because David said a bad word. Terrible, terrible taste. Anyway. Hey, what's that red stuff? Excuse me! I think he just burped and blew the flowers over. You do not burp at the table. No burping at the table. No, it wasn't me. Uh-huh. Does, does that look like it wasn't him? Does anyone believe that that wasn't him? I don't believe it. Yes, it was me. I'm sorry. I love you, Mom. That's David gets in trouble. No, 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 no! No, David! No, David! No, David! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh! No, David, no! No, no, no! Come back here, David! David, be quiet! Don't play with your food! He made a man out of drumsticks, green beans, and a potato. Nom 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 nom. That's enough, David! Do, do, do. Go to your room! He doesn't look happy. What's he doing in his room? Is he in his bed? No! Boing, 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 settle down! Super David. Stop that this instant! 
Put your toys away! He's watching space things on TV. Not in the house, David. There's a problem here, do you see? He has a baseball bat and a ball. And there is a clock right there that can break easy. A vase that can break easy. And a little glass ballerina that if it falls over will snap her leg off, her arms off, and maybe even her head. You cannot play baseball in the house. I said no, David. Oh, he broke it. It's everywhere. Oh, no. And look, there's the ballerina. She didn't snap her head off, but her, her leg and her arms fell off. See? That little lady right there. She fell down and broke into tiny pieces. We have a problem here because of the binding of the book. It's all pinched together. You can't see his face. Davy, come here. Yes, David. I love you. Hope you enjoyed it. It's Christmas, David. That's Santa Claus right there. He knows what you're doing. And if you're bad, get out the coal! See? <laughs> At Christmas time, everyone always said, it used to say, to David. And then David drew himself here with a piece of coal and crossed out the two and wrote, No, David! Because he's not going to get any presents because he's a bad kid. He's teetering on the... He's... That is not safe. No. And... He's digging in the present box. No snitching. He's up on the counter. His mom made cookies. Those are not toys. This is the worst part about Christmas. And they pull down all these little cool toys and hooks and things and you get to hang them on the Christmas tree. But they're a whole lot more fun just to go around playing with. Hey, wait a second. Santa's sleigh is not pulled by a horse. There are two reindeer here, and then we have, like, the replacement merry-go-round horse with a candy cane through the middle. That is... That is... That. Santa's watching, David! And he doesn't want to see you walking around without your clothes on, and it's cold, and you're gonna get pneumonia, and where are your clothes? If you wait in the line long enough, by all these people, the very end, all the way over there, is Santa Claus. The real Santa Claus at the mall. Hurry up! Look at this giant list he brought with a billion million things on it. And Santa Claus is bored. I think that's a fake beard because a real beard, see how it grows up under your lip? Ugh! I don't think that's the real Santa Claus. Naughty list, naughty list, naughty list. He wrote his name in the snow with his urine. Santa's going to bring you a lump of coal. Everybody's running away because look what David did. Oh, oh, oh! David threw a snowball through the window and broke it. Winter is a heck of a time to have a hole in your window. Don't start yet. Seat your grandmother. No yawning at the dinner table. That's the wrong fork. Sit up straight. Don't reach. Put your napkin in your lap. Get your elbows off the table! See, he's in his best clothes, and he's eating salad. Go to sleep, David! Look, he's not in his bed. Do you have a problem getting in your bed at night and staying in it? Do you think David is trying to see Santa Claus? If it's Christmas Eve, he's probably looking out the window to see if he can see some Santa Claus flying around. No Christmas for you, David! Dear David, sorry you were naughty. Love, Santa Claus. <laughs> There's a lump of coal, and David gets a letter from Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, it was, a, it was a dream. Santa, in his dream that he dreamed, was a nightmare. Because 
all of the toys, even on the Christmas tree. It's empty. There's nothing on it. And there's no presents. And there's a letter from Santa Claus saying, this lump of coal isn't even for you because you were bad. And bad kids don't get presents. The coal is for your parents for having you. But it's just a nightmare, look. Hooray! Merry Christmas, movie house! That's from a movie I really like called It's a Wonderful Life. It's black and white, which means there's no color in it. Because when they made it, there wasn't any color film. Anyway, sorry. Wake up, David! You were dreaming! That means the Christmas tree still has stuff under it. And those toys that you are not allowed to play with are still hanging on it. They are! Look! There's all the toys. There's a goldfish and a fire truck. Yes, David, it's Christmas! And the final page. It's Christmas day. He has his big, big fire truck. Dear David, Merry Christmas. Love, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Good boy, Fergus. Good morning, Fergus. Wanna go out? Ready, set, cat! So he's off to kill a cat, I guess. He's running, He's his feet are everywhere. And his little dog bone shaped name tag is just just out there. Wow, there's a lot to read on this page. Oh man. Okay, Fergie. Oh, that's short for Fergus. Fergie, time to go in. Come here, Ferg. Come, come on, boy. Fergus, come. Here, Fergie. Fergie. Ferg. Fergus McLagan. You come here right now, please. Ferg, come on. Let's go, boy. That's it. It doesn't sound like Fergus wants to go. He's sniffing something on the tree. Something smells like a bug or like something else. There's a squirrel right there. Good boy, Fergus. Fergus does not listen. He has to be carried inside because he will not come. And it doesn't matter what you say to him. He doesn't speak English. It's Mr. F. Mr. Itchy Bobo Scratchity Man. Do you talk like this to your pets? I've got fish over there, and I don't talk to my fish, Mr. Itchy Bobo Scratchity Man. Does that feel good? Tickle Spot. And he's, look, he's wagging, he's wagging his, uh, his foot. If you, if you can hit a dog's tickle spot, the dog will start to kick his leg like this because he thinks he's, I mean, he just can't help it. He's trying to scratch his own belly with his foot, but he can't. But you scratch his belly and he'll just, he'll just love you forever. Sit, Fergus. Down. That, that is not down. And that's not sitting. Roll over. <laughs> Good boy, Fergus. <laughs> Give him a treat anyway. Fergus! Because he just, oh. Oh no, Fergus! Oh boy, he's digging in the plant. He's that's that's gonna be a dead plant. <sighs> he's got dirt all over his paws and his nose now. You're gonna have to wash him. Dogs don't like their face washed. You probably don't either, but that dog really doesn't like his face washed. Bath time! See, he hides under the bed when it's time to wash. Look, even his foot is dirty. His back foot. How'd he get his back foot dirty? Just walking around in the mud. Now, let's go for a ride. Ho-ho! <laughs> the best thing on earth, and it makes his face just go totally puffy. Don't beg, Fergus. He says, I want some spaghetti and meatballs. Can I have some? I mean, are you going to eat all of it? He's still waiting. He just he put his foot down so he's not begging anymore are they gonna give him any oh all right he gave him that one he gave him that meatball see the meatballs there no meatball and he's chewing it up there dogs don't leave crumbs good boy Fergus 
Dogs, boy, you give a dog a meatball, he's gonna eat the whole thing. Time for a walk! Oh, he got knocked down. Fergus is ready, though. He's ready to go on that walk. And look out in the window. There is a friend. The squirrel. He's like, oh, no. I got to I gotta run up a tree. The dog's coming. Fergus, no! Fergus tried to run in the street after that motorcycle. Hey, there's a little girl walking home from school. There's a little bug. It's got a parking ticket. I used to have a Volkswagen bug that was shaped like this, but it wasn't yellow. It was blue. Oh, 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 no, he's going on everything. Good boy, Fergie. Hey, there's the squirrel. He's so unimportant, they didn't even color him in. He's just an outline. Yeah, he watered everything but the grass. He's just, he's just happy, just a happy-go-lucky dog. Dinner time! What's the problem? doesn't want that stuff. Better? Whipped cream? Better. Sweet dreams, little Fergus. Good boy. Yums. That's a funny name for a dog bone company. Grow up, David! By David Shannon. See, his, uh, his shirt's not big enough. That's why his hands are not visible. He does have them. They're just... He didn't even tie his shoes. Uh, David's brother always said, but he has added big. No, David! See, he's going for his... Uh, he's got a model car here. It looks like a Pinewood Derby car. The glue and the... And David is going to mess with it. Do you have little brothers? I had little brothers, and they were always messing with my stuff. I tell you... You got little brothers, you better lock your door when you leave your room, because they're going to get in there and mess with everything cool you have. You're too little! See, he's standing on the side, not allowed to play, because he's too little. He's, this kid's going to push over this kid, so... Stop following me! <laughs> he's getting a foot in the face, and uh, I... I guarantee those aren't brand new shoes. There's there's probably stuff on those shoes. Yes! Yes! Germs. <clears throat> Grow up, David. David's uh he's got some sharp teeth this kid. He's bitten down on a couple of pencil erasers and he's being a walrus. <laughs> Uh, you know, trying to get some attention while his brother does his homework. Very funny, David. Tied his, tied his shoes in a knot. <laughs> That's a magic knot, too. That knot right there, you can't get out of. Uh-oh. <laughs> David did it! He's put a, a toy submarine in the toilet. The plunger is going the wrong direction in there. There's toilet paper on the floor. All, all over. There's a toothbrush next to the... Oh, man. <sighs> Guess you gotta get a new toothbrush at that point. It was a toothbrush named Thomas who lost track of his family. He was cast out on the floor. Laying in toilet water. Yes! Yes! Germs. That's mine. Oh, look at that! He broke into the Halloween candy. He's he's really uh, he's zonked out. He's eaten everything that's any good, and he's left. Look, he left the Smarties. These are the worst candy in the world. That's like a little packet of pills. Oh. They taste so bad. And he's got some candy corn he left behind. Go ahead, call mom! Oh! He's... He's... I... I, uh... I remember this one. 
Yeah, my older brother used to do this to me. Oh, that's not funny. Don't don't laugh at that. It's not funny at all. Give it back, David. Oh, look at that. He's got he's got a little girlfriend. His older brother is of the age when when you start liking girls, and he's got a picture. Looks like her school picture, and she has kissed it with lipstick on, so that there's lips on it. David's running around with it. Have a nice trip. <laughs> hey, the page is missing. Uh, it's a little, it's a little ripped. Yeah, David, he's gonna be in trouble for getting his juice all over the carpet. Make me. I think it said make me it's gone someone someone has bitten the page right there children do not eat your library books because this one as you can see has fed a small child or a large child but look at that my mouth isn't even that big somebody's got large children Big baby, come into a theater near you. What am I supposed to do with this child? He's humongous. And he eats books. He hit me first. See, he's crying. Yeah, he, uh, you know, in a fight, it, uh, it doesn't really matter who did it first. It just matters who ends it. Thanks a lot, David. So, so they got in a fight, and now they're in timeout. You know, his brother's way over here, and he's way over here, backs to each other. And look at that's a giant mess. They have destroyed the living room. Mom's not gonna be happy about that. Want to play? Hey, look, they're gonna play again. They got the they got the football out. He's going to have he's going to have David play. Oh. <laughs> I think it hit David in the head. David? David. Are are you uh are you okay? I think you get. Nice catch, Dave. See, he called him Dave, not David. See, his brother loves him anyway. That's a book about brothers. Keep out. This means you, David. No, no, David. See, it's it's a symbol that says no, David. Growing up with brothers, uh, it was a lot of craziness, but it sure was worth it. Anyway, that's grow up, David. David goes to school by David Shannon. Do you think that's what you're allowed to do in school? Make paper airplanes out of your homework and throw them? At the front of the class? He's got a big mouth. That is a teacher and she doesn't look happy because her arms are folded and I think she's tapping that toe. This is a story about scholastic experiences. Scholastic is a word for school. Get it? School, schoolastic, scholastic. That's really a real word. Can you believe they did that? David's teacher always said, No, David! I, And then it says, No, no, David. I, I can feel it. I think somebody actually checked this book out and colored right here. I think that's real crayon. That is not printed with the book. Yeah. No yelling! No pushing! No running! In the halls. No, mm, I, th there's no M in no. <laughs> they started over. No, David! Good practice, though. I mean, you're learning good. And you did stay between the top, the middle of the line and the top line. So I guess they did use the lines. Good job. David! You're tardy! <laughs> Do you know what tardy means? Tardy is you're late. And I don't know where that word comes from. But yeah, you're tardy means you stayed in bed too long and your mom had to drive you to school and you have a note, I hope. What do you think's plugged in right there? 
It could be a fish tank. It could be a, well, I guess you don't plug in guinea pigs. <laughs> anyway, uh, next page. Notoriously thick pages in these books. Sit down, David! <laughs> Blah. He is misbehaving. <sighs> Don't chew gum in class! This is basically why you're not supposed to chew gum in school. Is because then the gum gets stretched and pulled, and then it snaps and falls into the book. Luckily... Even though people have colored on other pages, no one has put gum on this page. David, raise your hand! He's standing on the edge of the chair there. <laughs> He's standing up and just answering questions, and meanwhile his neighbor here, whatever her name is, she's got her hand up in the air just ready to answer, and he just blurts it out. That's not what you're supposed to do. Keep your hands to yourself! Oh boy, finger painting and he's gonna grab her ear. That kid's gonna get a red ear and be known as Susie Red Ear or something. What is he painting? What is that? Is that a green rainbow and like a... I, there's a chicken in there, I think. I think he made one of those hand chickens where you, you, you put a handprint and then you give it a beak. But the binding of the book has hidden his painting from us. What? <laughs> Somebody fixed it. He's looking out the window. This is supposed to be the back of his head. But the kid with the crayon has struck again and given us a jack-o'-lantern face on the back of his head. Pay attention! Look, there's a potato experiment where they're growing a potato in a glass of water and it starts to make roots. And there's a model rocket that you can shoot way up in the air. Five, four, three, two, one. And there's a globe. It's a whole planet and you can spin it and look at all the, I have one, hold on. Oh yes, a globe. Here is the United States of America, Mexico, South America, Africa, India, where there's cool sounded names of places like Bangalore, and then there's Thailand, the Philippines, and Mongolia, and Kazakhstan, and Turkmenistan, and Iran, and Afghanistan, and Turkey. There's a country called Turkey. And up here in the north part, you've got Finland and Sweden, Finnish, is one of the neatest sounding languages you've ever heard, and it's really hard to speak. Iceland is very green, and Greenland is all ice. Then there's Antarctica on the South Pole, and there's the North Pole, where Santa Claus and his reindeer live. Australia! Great white sharks in the ocean. If you go swimming there, you'll probably get bit. And then there's New Zealand, and they don't have any bugs. And in the middle out here is Polynesia, Samoa, and Tonga. And they have big, big volcanoes in the ocean. Right here, Hawaii is a state, and then there's another state in the United States way up here called Alaska. Well anyway, that's a tour of a globe. Most of your classrooms should have a globe. If you look around at school, you might find one. But he's looking outside, and what does he see? Well, right here is the handle of a small shovel, and uh, over here is uh, a nose and a, a smiley face, somebody laughing, and uh, this, I guess, could be a uh, an egg beater or I don't a hand. You guys are screaming at me, huh? Of course, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Stands on two legs, one two, and he's got two arms, one two, and you can't see his fingers because he's a cloud, but he has one two fingers like that on both arms, two fingers, and a big mouth full of teeth, and he eats other dinosaurs.
Wait your turn, David! He's skipping the line. Oh, boy. You gotta learn how to stand in lines when you go to school. This is, uh, this is the lunchroom. See, at school, did you know they have lunch ladies? She's got hairy arms, like me. And they say, what would you like to eat? And they give you a scoop of everything. And then you take your lunch with your little box of milk. These boxes of milk are really cool. You can only find them at school. I don't know where they sell them, but you can't buy them at a store. You have to pop open the corner and you drink out, out of that. Like at home, you can't drink out of the carton. But at school, you get your own little carton and you drink right out of it. So special. He's being rude. This kid, and this kid, and this kid, and this kid, all those kids have to wait because he's gonna skip the line. He's gonna have to learn how to stand in lines. I don't care who started it! <laughs> Food fight! This is, a, uh, this is a messy way to live. If you decide that your food belongs on your enemies and they believe the same, then both of you shall have nothing to eat and you will be wearing a lot of squishy clothes. <laughs> He's got spaghetti hanging off his face. It's like a partial beard. And somebody threw a banana, but it didn't get squashed. Watch out for slipping on the banana peel. The milk is on the floor! Ah! Oh, man. There's just stuff everywhere. How did that sandwich not come apart? Usually, it must be really glued together. Whatever's in that sandwich is sticky. <clears throat> David! Recess is over! Recess is when you go outside and you play on the play field and on the jungle gyms. And this is a four square square thing. There's a little line that goes through the middle. But because of the binding of the book, once again, we've lost... Yeah, I've got marks on my fingers from that crayon. That kid's crayon is everywhere in this book. He's playing wall ball by himself. You're supposed to go in when the bell rings. You're supposed to go sit at your desk. Boy, if you're homeschooled, you get you get away with all of this. You don't have to deal with it. This is the library, and she's trying to read, and he's trying to read, and he has his pencils out to drum on a book cover. She does not appreciate his musical talents. He's supposed to do that in music, not in the library. That is a loud kid. Again? <laughs> Can you tell what he needs to go do? This is the thing about being in school in a classroom. You have to raise your hand and ask if you can go to the bathroom. You gotta kinda time that. When they have recess, you gotta run to the bathroom during recess so that you don't have to do it during the class because it's embarrassing to raise your hand in front of everybody. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. Everybody has to go. Why is it embarrassing? Maybe it was only embarrassing to me. That's it, mister! You're staying after school! Oh, man! He's drawn a really wonderful picture on his desk, but that is not where you draw. Never draw on walls or desks. Draw on paper only. Or cardboard, if they give you some cardboard to paint on. But <gasps> Hey, look, it's Fergus, his dog! And those are the aliens. They've got a laser rifle on their spaceship. And there's a pig. Oh, wait. There's a pig with pigtails. I think I recognize those pigtails. Could that be... <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> He drew his uh, desk partner as a pig. That poor girl. She is now a pig drawn on the desk. You're not, he's drawn himself right there with a green crayon. I wonder who that kid is. There's a little kid over there jumping. Maybe that's the mailman. Cause Fergus eats the mailman every time. David, have you finished? Oh. There's a fly. What is a fly doing in here? I opened the window and now there's flies in my house. Pfft, what makes him think it's so great in here? He's shining the desks. He's got a bucket of cleaner and he is shining and they go bling, 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 bling. Shine those desks, David. You're the janitor now.
A janitor is someone who cleans the school. Good job, David! He gets a gold star! Or it's a sheriff's badge. Maybe he's going to be the law in this classroom. Is there some kind of badge that goes with this job? Oh, you bet there is! I'm afraid it's a little bent up. Well, it must have saved the life of whoever was wearing it. Well, it sure would have if it hadn't been for all them other bullets flying in from everywhere. Probably not. He's probably getting a gold star sticker that means he's a good boy and he did a good job, even though he kind of misbehaves. Yes, David, you can go home now. Hey, it's the little piggy girl and its other friend. And it's fall, see? All the trees, their leaves are turning orange. In September is when you usually start school. And David is running home. I used to walk to school. Oh look, an extra illustration done by the famous anonymous artist. Anonymous means we don't know their name. See, they first drew a family, they were shorter. Or maybe this is a bib. You know those bibs little kids have to wear that catch the food? Maybe it's one of those bibs. I don't know. There's an X over their face. So I guess the artist was not that happy with this face, even though it looks identical to this face and this face. <laughs> Sorry, kid. You did a good job. I don't know who you are, but uh, thanks for extra illustrating this book. It really helped. David Shannon grew up in Spokane, Washington. Oh, no way! He's from Washington, too! Spokane's on the other side of the state, but uh, he now lives in L.A. with his wife, Heidi, their daughter, Emma, and their dog, Fergus. Fergus is real! Uh -oh. The back of the book says, Put class. I will not, will not disrupt class. I will not disrupt class. I will not disrupt class. I will not dis... Durst, dursupt class. <laughs> Dursrupt, disrupt class. I will not disrupt class. We do hope you've enjoyed this great, amazing book show. And if you'd like to listen to further titles, please check out our other videos. Or subscribe and continue to enjoy more of these fascinating stories. <laughs>